YouTube just changed its whole upload recording format here. So I recorded 20 minutes and then tried to publish it and ended up deleting it all because I'm not familiar with this new design that they have. So I'm going to have to summarize, which is probably a good thing because it makes forces me to make it all brief. And spare you all the details. What it comes down to is that the mayor of Newton. I just rattled on 20 minutes about this whole thing, and now I've got to start over. Oh God, the mayor of Newton is so fucking full of, so fucking full, of, so fucking much part of the social-wide political lie that it's just incredible. It's just incredible. And it forces me into the recognition that the campaign against him will again be an exercise in futility. He will win the campaign. He will be re-elected mayor in 2013. There is no question of beating him. He is he has the whole national political machine pulling the strings for him. Not just the local Newton political machine, but the national political machine with all kinds of political contacts, contacts right up to the White House. All kinds of contacts up to Clinton and Kerry and undoubtedly Obama. There is no beating this guy, and the only thing I can hope to do is to try to bring out into the open the fact that everything about him is lies, brainwashed lies from beginning to end. And there's a very real chance of my not surviving the mayoral campaign. of my being assassinated for exposing not not just lo not just not winning the campaign for mayor in 2013 on account of introducing the 9/11 lie into the campaign issues but the fact that this guy was in Iraq and worked for FEMA in Iraq. This guy, the mayor of Newton, worked for FEMA in Iraq for a year while he had s political string pullers setting up his campaign for mayor here in Newton while he was off in Iraq working for FEMA. The torture camp, concentration camp, override Constitution of the United States Department. And there is every chance and likelihood that this guy can and will have me assassinated for exposing this bullshit. So, I probably won't be alive in the year 2014 because this guy currently the mayor of the town I was born in, this guy who wasn't born until 10 years, until I was 10 years old, when I was delivering newspapers, delivering newspapers in 1970 at the time of the Kent State killing, the front pages of the newspapers I remember quite well, that I was delivering to every door, the Kent State killings, where the National Guard murdered four American college students around the age of 20 were murdered, shot down on college campus by the National Guard. This guy, I don't know what month he was born. He probably was still not even born yet in May of 1970. At most, he was four, four months old at that time. I was 10 years old. This guy has no memory of Watergate. This guy has no memory of Nixon resigning 
and he's the mayor of Newton, and he worked in Iraq for FEMA, and he can, and probably will, have me killed in 2013. That is how far the tentacles of the national political machine reach. That is f how far the tentacles of this machine reach. And now I will try to publish this and not have it be deleted. I will click stop recording and try to follow the upload from there. Good night.